So this week we are going to be looking at breaking down your technique to make sure that the efficiency on the water is better, you get faster and you get fitter quicker. It's the most important aspect of the whole sport of paddling, is to get this technique right. So we're going to break it down, so we're going to have a look at the setup, we're going to have a look at the entry, we're going to have a look at the catch, the power phase, the exit and the recovery phase. So we're going to start off with the setup. Now the setup involves your rotation, which increases your reach. So the setup and the reach go together, okay, side by side. The less flexible you are, the less reach you're going to have. So work on your flexibility. You need rotation at your ankle, knee, hip and spine, okay, through to your shoulder to get as much reach as possible. The more reach you have, the more distance per stroke you are going to gain. The reach, if I just demo the reach uh, and the setup, all we're going to do is through recovery, you have a swing through the blade. So the blade swings through. So allow the weight of the blade to drive you into rotation. This will drive the reach, okay? Elbows high, top arm is bent, because if I keep it straight, you automatically reduce your reach and your stroke length. So keep it bent, it should be going in like the shape of an A, okay? So from here, all you're gonna do is bend from the hips and drive down into the water, into your entry. Entry phase, there's two different ways we can do this. We can either present the blade forwards, okay? Usually, if it's windy, you'll be catching lots of air all the way through, and when you place it into the water, you'll be taking air down into the water, which might cause blade cavitation. So the blade moving side to side. Sometimes it will feather, okay, and you'll have water slippage off both sides. So the best way to do it is to swing through sideways, okay, so you rotate your blade, then you slide it into the side. This allows the air to spill off the side. Okay, that's your best way of the entry into the water. The catch phase. So this is where all the hard work comes in. So as a beginner, you're gonna be doing two thirds of recovery, one third effort, okay? So basically two thirds should be rested. The catch in the power phase are where the effort comes in. So as you swing through, you've entry into the water, all of your body weight, from now your three points of contact, both feet and now the blade weight, you place all of your body weight onto that blade. If you just do it with your arms, you get fatigued really quickly. So this is why the rotation comes in. So rotation from the trunk and the lower body, slide the blade in from the side, air comes off, into the catch, all of your body weight into the catch, and then go into your power phase. The power phase, is where the arms come in and the larger muscles from the rotation of your core and your trunk musculature come in. So as soon as you've got that catch, your body weight is on there, then you start to drive with the arms and the trunk and the hips. All of the effort goes on here, but it should be minimal amount of time. So as soon as you've made that catch and that power phase, you're thinking about taking your paddle out of the water. If your paddle okay, comes past your hips, you're pushing it past your hips, so you're pushing rather than pulling. Everything in front of the, uh, the hip is positive, everything behind the hip is negative. It doesn't mean you're going to stop going forwards, but you're going to have this issue, okay, of pushing rather than pulling. So as soon as you come through uh, your power face, think about taking the blade out, exit out to the side, okay, so you exit out this way, and a low swing through the recovery. The higher you have your blade face on the recovery, the more unstable you become. So you, you'll keep your knees slightly flexed, the blade comes through really low to the water, okay, through the next setup and entry. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or suggestions you want to make uh, or anything that we want to cover in the future, then just let us know.